the process of fertilization and reproduction in plants is crucial. Without it, there will be no harvest, no fruits and no more plants. This process depends on flowers. Because of this, in this video, we will help you understand what is going on during this critical time of your plant's life cycle by breaking down the parts and functions of tomato flowers. By the end of this video, when you will look at a tomato flower, you will know exactly which parts does what and how to call it. To do this, we will use a mind map and some illustrations. Let's get started. Let's start with a quick overview of what is a tomato flower. So the tomato flower is a part of the tomato plant, which itself belongs to the group of plants called flowering plants. Now, flowering plants need flower to reproduce. Flowers are their reproductive structures. So the tomato flower is the reproductive structure of the tomato plant. So its function is reproduction, by the production of seeds. And now it's also important to mention that tomato flowers are what we can call perfect flowers. That means they have male organ and female organ both located in the same flower, which is a significant advantage because it allows for self-fertilization. So this is just to have an overview of what is a flower, its function, and in the tomato flower in particular, what is its basic structure? So its basic structure is a perfect flower for both male and female organ, and its function is reproduction, okay? Now, let's move on to the anatomy of the tomato flower. Let's go and see the, each of the parts of the flower as well as the function, so the role that the part uh, plays in the flower. We'll use this illustration uh, to visualize the different parts and terms. And the first part is the stamen. So the stamen is the male organ of the flower and its function is to provide pollen, which will lead to fertilization. Now, the structure the stamen has is that it's tube shaped and it's yellow. And it has two sub parts. The first being the filament that holds the enter up the enter being the other parts, which produce the pollen. So in the illustration on the top left, you can see these curvy yellow tubes are stamens. So each of them is a stamen, and together there, there are many stamens in the tomato flower. So all of them are stamens, and this is the male organ of the flower surrounding the other organ which is the female organ so this is the stamen now the second part the pistil is the female organ so the one the one i just showed that is surrounded by the stamen and the function of the female organ is to provide ovules which will become seeds so the structure is trunk shaped so it looks a bit like an elephant trunk and well in my opinion and it's a bit greenish, even though this uh, illustration doesn't represent well the greenish color it's supposed to have. It's, uh, it's a bit greenish, it's not as yellow as the male organ. And we're talking about the tomato flower in particular. Other flowers can have different colors and structures, but the principles are the same uh, in terms of the functions of the male organs and female organs and the other parts that we will see. Now, it has three subparts. The first part is the ovary, so that's the base of the pistil that holds the ovules. So this is right here, the base, the ovary is right here, and this is what will become a tomato. That's the ovary will become a tomato, and the ovary itself has one subpart, the ovules that are located inside the ovary, which will become the seeds right there. Um, then the second part is the style, so that's the pollen pathway from the stigma to the ovary and a gatekeeper. So what do I mean by this? So by pathway, it's because when the stamen will fertilize the end of the uh, female organ right here, a pollen tube will be created and will travel through the style to go and fertilize uh, the, the ovules and the, and the ovary at the base. So this tile, its function, it's for the pollen to travel through it. All right. 
the pollen will travel through it. And now that's pollen pathway from stigma to ovary, the stigma being the third part that we haven't seen yet. And it's a gatekeeper because only compatible pollen, so pollen coming from the anther of a tomato flower, the anther being the male uh, subpart producing the pollen. So pollen coming from uh, the male organ, only compatible pollen will be able to develop a pollen tube. So let's say uh, there's a flower from a different species and the pollen comes in contact with the stigma, so this green part here, well, it won't be able to grow a pollen tube and fertilize the ovary because it's not compatible. So it acts as a buffer against contamination. Now the third part, the stigma, we've just talked about it. It receives the pollen and it activates the fertilization. It's right here. So you can see the three parts of the female organ, the ovary that holds the ovules and will become a tomato. The ovules will become a seed. Uh, then the style, which is the tube through which the pollen will travel from the stigma to the ovary, and the stigma which um, receive the pollen and activate the fertilization process. Uh, so these two parts, the stamen and the pistil, are the reproductive parts of the flower. Now we're going to review the non-reproductive parts of the flower. So the first being the sepal. So sepal, uh, it's the green leaf-like protective structure enclosing the unopened bud. So basically, when a flower is not open yet, you can see some green uh, leaf-like things around it that protects uh, the flower that is inside. These are the sepals. So together, usually you don't have one sepal, you have uh, multiple, of, uh, many of them. So together it's called the calyx. So the calyx is the structure that will protect the flower and the calyx is composed of sepals. Uh, so here the flower is open and the sepals are basically uh, these leaf-like structure uh, right above. So now that the flower is open, they are small and right there. But if the flower was closed, they will be around the flower protecting it. Then you have the pedicel, so that's the green flower stem, so right here, it's simply uh, the stem that will hold the flower to the plant. And then you have the petals, so the part that everyone knows. Um, so here, just to mention, in terms of structure, they should be a bit bigger. Uh, I think when I made the illustration, I, I got the size of the petals uh, a bit wrong, but the proportion, um, the structure is, is all right, but usually the petals will be uh, at least as as long as the stamen and uh, the female organ. So maybe they will reach around here. So the petals, uh, the function is to attract pollinators and to support fertilization. So before I said that uh, the tomato flower is a perfect flower. So it got uh, the stamen and the pistil together. And, but that doesn't mean that the fertilization will happen, happen all the time. It just means that the probability is higher because the distance between the pollen and the stigma is smaller. But it's always useful to have uh, some pollinators and also to um, have cross-fertilization cross, um, cross from different flowers, which um, will, be, will be good genetically for the plants. But this is an area that I don't really know much about. The only research I've made for this video is more in the anatomy and the different parts. So if you, if you know more about that, just feel free to leave a comment. I will be really curious to, to learn from you. Now, the structure of the petals, uh, I didn't go really in depth with that, but I just added that it's yellow, but you can also see that it's a bit pointy. You know, not, not every petals are the same. So the tomato flowers, they have this uh, little pointy end with uh, this uh, lines black lines going um going inside so in reality you don't see them as clearly but uh, in the illustrations i wanted i wanted to to make that clear and i thought that it was pretty cool so yeah so but usually uh, you will have the yellow flowers for the tomato plant that's pretty much it so we have uh the two the reproductive organs so the male organ the stamen and the female organ the pistil the role of the stamen is to provide uh pollen for fertilization and the role of the female organ is to hold the ovules and to be fertilized and then develop a tomato with seeds in it which will allow for the creation of new plants because in inside each seed you will have a little tomato uh, embryo that will become a full tomato plant when it germinates and grow and then you have the non-reproductive structures so the sepals that forms the calyx 
protecting the flower before it opens, the pedicel that holds the flower to the plant and the petals attracting the, the pollinators. Uh, that's the end of this video. I hope uh, it was useful for you and you and you learned something here and Yeah, and just let me know in the comments what you thought of the format of the information and if you have any advice for me so Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye. Bye